every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 120 fifth day of my challenge where I'm gonna try today a strawberry cake but if you're wondering why this video looks a little bit different it's because oh my god days of terror now because something happened to my camera and I'm not kidding I was like in panic when I realized that it's not working as it was uh well used to uh, and now while we're trying to figure out whether it's possible to fix it or maybe whether we should buy a new one and then in that case which one I kind of borrowed a well another camera from a friend which is so different when I looked back I saw that you can see such a wide angle like the whole kitchen behind me so yeah, today we'll be experimenting in a power of two. The recipe which I'm gonna try for the first time and the camera which I'm not really familiar with. So let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need 200 grams of flour, 150 grams of sugar, 130 grams of butter, 120 milliliters of milk, 120 milliliters of heavy cream, four eggs, some fresh strawberries, and I'm gonna use 400 grams of them, 250 grams of strawberry jam, one small orange, that is zest of all of it, and juice of half of it, one teaspoon of baking powder, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and some powdered sugar. I've started by turning on my oven to preheat to 180 degrees and now I'm gonna prepare my 23 centimeters in diameter cake pan by taking some cooking spray, spraying mainly the sides of it and then laying the very bottom with some parchment paper to ensure that nothing sticks. Okay, now the cake. I'm gonna start by creaming butter and sugar together. I love how creaming happens inside the whisk. Anyways, now it's time to add in the eggs, orange zest and vanilla extract and just mix to combine. goodness this smell is so promising okay so now I'm gonna briefly mix my flour with the baking powder and salt together okay now I'm gonna add in half of this and half of milk mix it in and then add the remainder of the flour mixture and the milk but at this point I don't want to over mix so I'm gonna be mixing just to combine okay nope. so now all of this amazing smelling batter goes into the pan And now take the form and tap it a little bit so that if there are any bubbles inside the batter they all would rise up and just burst so now as I clearly can see that that happened I will put this cake into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes I am gonna check on it after 30 minutes and while my cake is baking which you can clearly hear in the background I'm gonna do the rest of the prep so first I'm gonna mix orange juice with this strawberry jam. And another thing I can do is prepare the strawberries. I'm gonna trim the leaves and then cut them in half lengthwise. Mm. 
Man, two toothpicks are not enough now for me. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to decide whether it's ready or not. I feel like it is. Let's call it good. 30 minutes it is. So now it needs to cool down completely before I can move on. My cake is pretty much cooled down, so now I can move on to kind of a last step of preparation before actually starting to assemble the cake, which is beating the heavy cream. Now this one is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit more than I need, it's 200 milliliters, but I love whipped cream, so I'm just gonna use the whole pack. And if it looks strange to you, because it is not a usual like heavy cream in a liquid form. It's actually somewhere halfway to beating fully like this shape. <laughs> so uh, it's very interesting. I've tested it before and once you start beating it and I'm gonna be using my handheld mixer, it kinda starts returning back to its liquid form. But then once you beat a little bit more, it goes to this form so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the whole thing and just beat until a really stiff peaks you see it's the weirdest thing ever okay so now it's time to take it out i have a butter knife here which i'm gonna run by the corners of the cake pan and just invert it oh this smells so amazing okay will it fit i'm kind of stretching it aren't i okay <laughs> so now i'm supposed to actually cut it in half but i don't know oh maybe that will help let's see no i think this plate is not good for this cake oh one second okay i'm pretty sure now it will be easier to do all the decorations so i will try not to cut it in half Okay, so now the actual assembly. Should I maybe clean up a little bit before that? And now the actual assembly. So, I have my strawberry jam, orange juice mixture here, which, by the way, looks way runnier than Laura's, but Oh well, so I'm gonna take it and spread it all over the bottom part of the cake. However, a good idea is to leave around one and a half centimeter. Don't take my fingers for it. I'm so bad at it. So anyways, you want to leave a little border untouched with the jam uh, because once we assemble everything and put the top part uh, down and press a little bit, it will kind of spread towards the end. So you don't want everything to just pill out everywhere. It's so easy to say leave a border. It kind of moves towards this itself. <laughs> oh well. So now the fun part of the assembly. Kind of like decorating. So I have my strawberries here and what you want to do is kind of arrange them on top of it. It can be in any way, of course, but if you leave these strawberries peeking out a little bit, it will look so pretty in the very end. And now the heavy cream, or whipped cream, I should say. Again, you do want to leave a couple of centimeters border. And now the top part goes on. And just press gently. I'm so excited, I don't know why, I'm just 
so excited. <laughs> this is so pretty already. And now the only thing left to do is to put a, well, Laura signature on it. I will dust the very top of the cake with some powdered sugar. And I have a couple more of these strawberries, which I think I will put in the very center. because of the strawberry jam, but this, I'm eating such a mess. I bet you would like to come and visit me now so that we could drink tea together, wouldn't you? Okay, I really have to work it. I want a hug it. Mmm, not too sweet at all. Surprisingly, though. Oh man, this is so good. So good! Okay, the cake itself is kind of like orangey cake. It's really spongy. The cake itself is so good. What's amazing, I don't know why, I have this strong, strong belief that it will be so sweet and overpowering by the strawberry jam because it looked like way too much for this cake but I can actually taste the well every single element of the cake the cake itself it's so orangey and amazing the strawberry jam is kind of actually um, I thought you will really understand that you're eating strawberry jam but actually you kind of think it's strawberries because I put a lot of strawberries and they are sweet themselves, so it kind of just blends in, I guess, with the real strawberries and the whipped cream, which I love so much. It's so, also such an amazing addition to this cake. I'm just absolutely in love with it. It's super, super pretty looking and super duper inviting to eat it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go and do right now. If you want, go check the original recipe by Laura right there. The written one, as always, in the metric and of course American Systems is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a day. Bye!